she comes all the way from Far Rockaway, and she goes by the name of Yolanda. Put your hands together for Yolanda. I'm gonna perform the same poem I performed last time because I see some faces in here that I didn't see last time. So. This poem is called Thoughtless. Alright? Okay. The poem is called Thoughtless. Sometimes I feel like I cannot accept this living. Please. Forgive me, but society has overshadowed my mind once again. Have we forgotten who made the woman? Have we forgotten who made us second to God? Or have we forgotten ourselves? Tell me, how can she carry this seed in her body when she embodies thoughtless time that creates thoughtless mind? Time once told her that she was beautiful like the sun from the tongue of the sky's mouth. Thoughtless, but how can the soul unknown to its own find its way home alone? But have we forgotten? Or maybe we do not know much at all. Maybe her definition does not mean much at all. But she has bled many petty tissue plate, but before the age of 13, been beaten down to the soles of her feet, shined but only like the nickel on the concrete that fails to sleep, unsilenced by prisoners of the street, alleyways that shelter police sirens and begging bodies that itch, but still she carries in a world of dreams that remain dreams until they fall into a ditch. Society, it's turned pitch black. Thoughtless soul, forgive me for my mind, has been overshadowed once again. Have we forgotten? She once wore her heart and shield and armor protected, now shivers and nakedness searching for a blanket, regardless of its holes or dirty stains that were permanent. As she gasped for air, once again, got caught up into Cupid's choke hole. Her beating drums were placed into the palms of his nest, where lies and lust are lingering through the sticks and stones. Shells broken into pieces. I have yet to find an embryo alive. She has yet to live peaceful and alive. Tell me why. With our temple do we play this game, gripping hearts like an ace of spade. With pride darker than an ace of spade, love comes in many ways, four letter words like AIDS. So tell me, tell me, have I no right to be enraged? This society has put spots on my body, the color of sage, fighting to keep my composure as I watch young women like I in this day's age. Hope-filled revolutions remain caged, thoughtless so. Forgive me, for my mind has been overshadowed once again as she becomes comfortable in her space, for this is all her eyes can see, the color of her hair and the thickness of her, the color of her skin, the thickness of her hair makes her feel that it is all right to be a part of a percentage. No feelings of no tomorrow, no reason to wake up for tomorrow, falling deeper into the cracks of no tomorrow. So tell me, how can she not be so bitter in her ways, now protecting her body after the wall she had been through in her days? This is not a phase. This is no mystery. It runs through our history. The unwanted scars that we have given birth to in our lives, it was made to be hard from day one. Struggling to comb through our daughter's hair was at least enough. How we struggled to keep them safe and protected from this deteriorating place is more than just enough. There is a call for 9-11. In our neighborhoods, you see us falling apart, crumbling into rubble, suffocating into smoke, and you sit as you are now, silent. So forgive me, for my mind has been overshadowed once again to the woman. We are more than what we will ever know. Our bodies more than what we will ever know our minds more than what he will ever know so you may feel like me a reason to not accept this living should be a reason for living so live and put an end to being thoughtless all right one more it's short 
It's a, it's kind of a love poem. Right? I woke up this morning with the sun on my skin, and next to me you lay in the shade of my shadow. Red like butterflies is what I had in my womb the first time we had a taste of each other's lips. I was floating on some cloud and got lost in the wind as you swam into the teardrops of my soul and saved me once again. Your fingertips seasoned my guts and carved your name into the bones of my hips. Your name flows through my veins. I'm bleeding for your touch as we horizontally dance forever in the sand, reading through each other's eyes and speak and ask, where did I find you? And it ends in smiles and heart races, for I have burned into my heart your face, so I can always feel you. Thank you.